Hi guys, welcome to my Chinese watch collection. My name is Aviv. If you haven't done it yet, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell button so you can get notifications when I upload new content. So a few days ago, I uploaded a video about this really cool T-Vice watch. And on the small montage I did on the video, I added a couple of pictures of this watch on this coffee colored leather NATO strap. And one of you guys asked me on my Instagram where I got this cool NATO strap and asked me how to replace the bracelet with a NATO strap. So I thought I'll make a little video about it and also show you a few different ways you can use it. So if you're interested, come with me after the intro and we'll get right into it. So I want to start by saying that I really do love this device watch. I think it's a great option if you want to have something that is cheap but is well made and looks way more expensive than it really is. I like the bracelet on it. It has solid stainless steel links. It is well made. It's an oyster type bracelet. It has a cool clasp. But sometimes you just want to have a little change, mix things up. And I really like the option of uh, NATO straps because the possibilities are basically endless with colors and materials. You have leather NATO straps, you have nylon NATO straps, which are also cool and they offer really massive selection of colors and textures and I think it's a really cool way to mix things up and make a quick change to your watch I really do like them and I think it's nice to have a, at least a small selection of, of straps okay so the first thing we want to do is take the bracelet off the watch for demonstration purposes I will Open it up so we can see better. If you haven't seen my review for this watch, click here and check it out. You can see behind the end link, the end link here is hollow, and you have the spring bar going from this lug to this lug and with the tool this one was provided with the NATO strap I'll put a link in the description for you to buy one if you want and this tool was provided with the strap so very convenient so you can see the spring bar just behind the end link here with this side of the tool we'll catch it push down this might take a few tries it's okay we'll do our best not to damage the watch it's okay if it takes you a little time, it takes me a little time as well. Push it down and pull it out. We have one side out. This is the spring bar we just took out. Keep it because we're going to need it to put the NATO strap on. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now we put the spring bars back on the watch. On the lug you can see a hole here and on the other side as well. Just put one side of the spring bar in the hole and with your fingernail press down on it and click it in place. Do the same thing on the other side.
And now let's take a look at the NATO strap. It's basically two straps of material, whether it's leather or nylon, they are sewn together. You have three metal loops and the buckle. You have many different designs you can choose from. I chose this big buckle, I liked it, brushed and uh, nicely finished. And on the other side of the strap you have the holes to put the buckle pin in. So I'm going to show you three different ways you can use the NATO strap. The first one is the most basic one. You take the strap and you put this side on the top of the watch between the lugs. You take the watch all the way up. and run the strap on the bottom side of the watch case and then through this loop and let's see how it sits on the wrist And the remaining flap you can fold down and thread it through the top loop and this is what you end up with. Again the most basic way to do it notice that it makes the watch bulk here and makes it stand out even more because it adds the thickness of the strap going through twice to the distance from your wrist and some people don't like it and thus we go to the second method which is basically the same repeat the steps from the first method but put your hand through this loop right here it's a bit less thick because you only have the thickness of the strap going once under the watch. And the last method I'm going to show you is the reverse one that instead of putting the watch on the strap like this put it backwards like this let's see we put this end of the strap on the bottom side of the watch put it all the way and from the other side and then through this loop right here and now when you put the watch on you basically put it backwards and this is what you end up with some people like it better, this way you don't have the bulk of the folded extra strap and the loops on this side and it's maybe more comfortable to some people. What do you think? And of course you can use the second method backwards when, where you put your hand through here close it so basically I just showed you four methods you got a bonus one so one last point I want to mention about the NATO straps is that they, they originated from army watches military watches as a means for soldiers not to lose their watches during a military activity because if something happens and one of the spring bars 
for some reason breaks or falls or whatever the watch will not fall and would stay hanged like this instead of falling and there are many reasons why as a soldier you don't want this to happen I know this reason for using a NATO strap very well because like I mentioned in a previous video of mine I myself am an army veteran for the IDF infantry and this was my service watch and it has this really complicated strap for for added security on the field so you don't lose your watch I'll show you how it goes on the wrist first you close this velcro strap and then you have a plastic buckle you can see it's double secured but if for some reason one of these should break here I don't have uh, I don't have spring bars like on a normal watch this is this is an army grade G-Shock it's more robust rubber if one of the sides should break the other side will hold it in place and if for some reason the buckle is too open the velcro tape holds it in place on your wrist and if the velcro tape for some reason opens it is still connected to the outer strap very cool watch by Casio G-Shock I believe they don't make this model anymore it's obsolete it's been a few years since my service but yeah just wanted to share this with you so I would really love if you shared your thoughts with me what you think about NATO straps are they overrated do you like them do you don't like them anything at all I'll put a link for you for this strap uh, in the description below you can buy it it has a few colors for you to choose from and also I will link this uh, cool T-Vice watch if you like this video and found it helpful do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos on my channel I talk about my collection of Chinese watches I give you um, tips about taking care of your watches by yourselves and also about shopping Aliexpress. I really do appreciate your comments and your questions. Please keep them coming. Um, this video originated from a question I was asked on uh, my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram account. Um, get to know me and my collection a little bit better. I post a picture every day showing which watch I'm wearing. I wear a different watch every day. So if you're interested in that, make sure you follow me on Instagram. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.